Welcome to Math Skills Lesson 4 for your SIP test prep. In this lesson, we'll learn the basic geometry you need to know for your SIP test prep. Before you start, make sure that you have a pen and a notebook so you could write every single step in the video and practice. As always, pause the video and practice by yourself to make sure that you understand every single problem in the video and then download this application called SIP tutoring app from iOS or Android device and practice lesson 4 math skills. In the app, lesson 4 covers all these geometry related problem you need to know for your SIP test. So let's get started. In this lesson, we'll learn how to find area and perimeter of a rectangle, area and perimeter of a square, volume, area and circumference of a circle, area of a triangle, fine shaded area, factorials, unknown angle of a triangle and Pythagorean theorem. First of all, we learn how to find area and perimeter of a rectangle. So as you know, rectangle is a four sided shape and it has opposite sides are the same. So that means this side and that side are the same this one and this one are the same so the the perimeter is 2 times l plus w and area equal to length time width so let's apply a um, word problem using that uh, formula you can see here this is a rectangle it has length equal to 9 and width equal to 6 so just use the formula to find perimeter and area so perimeter equal to 2 times length plus w so that gives you 9 plus 6 is 15 so 2 times 15 is 30 inch and the area is 9 times 6 is 54 square inch so this is that so this is another one so in that case the perimeter is given so perimeter is 36 inch and one side is given width is given you have to find the length so you could do this problem different way so as you could see here um the rectangle has opposite sides are the same so this side eight that means this side also eight so use um the formula 36 is the perimeter two times l plus the w and the um the w equal to eight here so 36 um equal two times l plus eight so now divided both sides by um, 2, so that gives you 18. And then if you subtract it, you get 10 inch. And then find the area, so 10 times 8 is 80 square inch. So this is another problem. In that case, area is given. The previous one, um, you have um, the perimeter is given. But this case, the area is given. Area is 77 one side is 11 so what is another side you know that area area equal to length time width and you have to find width equal to area divided by length so exactly what we did here so in that case width equal to 7 inch so this is a, um, a practice problem so pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get 54 is the perimeter and um 180 is is uh, area so this is another problem you could see here the area is given 126 length is 14 what is width so you know area equal to length time width and then length will be area divided by width so this is a practice problem you need to find width so area is given in that case you know area equal to length time width so width will be area divided by length so use that formula and try to find make sure that you get nine this is another uh, example problem and practice problem pause the video and try by yourself now we'll learn how to find area and perimeter of a square so you know a square is a four sided shape and it's all the sides are same right so that means length and width are the same so the perimeter of the square is 4L and the area equal to L square. So using this formula, let's um, do a problem. So you could see here, this is a square. It has um, 
one side equal to 9 so the perimeter is 9 times 4 is 36 and the area equal to 9 uh, square that is 81 square inch so in that case um, the area is given 144 so you know a equal to um, L square right and the L will be e square root over a so using this formula you could find what is L equal right so let's do that so this is another uh, practice problem so uh, pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get um, the perimeter is 120 feet and area equal to 900 square feet so this is another uh, practice problem you try by yourself the area is given and uh, um, you have to find the length so you know area equal to um, L square or X square whatever you do and then L will be e square root over yeah, so use the formula and find the length. So in that case, length is 13 feet. So the next thing we'll learn how to find area of a um, uh, triangle. So you know the area of a triangle, A equal to base time height divided by 2 or half time base time height. So let's apply this formula to a real problem. So you could see here in that um, figure, um, this is a triangle. It has length, I mean the base is 12 and height is 8 so use the formula half time base time height and if you simplify that that gives you 48 e square inch so this is another a practice problem pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get this answer so there is another a practice problem in here you try by yourself in that case you have to find the area and perimeter of a table runner so you, you could do that make sure that you get this answer perimeter is 200 area equal to 1344 e square inch so this is another uh, practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get height equal to um, 4 so this is the whole purpose so if you understand the concept so you could practice by yourself and you could get the answer now we'll learn how to find the volume of a cube so the formula to find volume of a cube v equal to length time width time height so let's apply this formula to a real problem so you could see here in that case the length is um 12 width is 8 and height equal to 10 so if you multiply all of them you get 960 centimeter cube so this is a practice problem pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get this answer there is another uh, practice problem here pause the video you try by yourself make sure that you get the volume is 336 meter cube so now we'll learn how to find um area and circumference of a circle so you know this is a circle and from one side to another side through the center is called diameter and the half of a diameter is called radius so this is that is also called radius right so that the radius equal to diameter divided by 2 the circumference equal to 2 times pi times radius and the area equal to pi times radius is square where pi equal to 3.14 so now let's apply this um, the formula to a problem so you could see here this is a circle it has a diameter is um, 24 inch you have to find the radius which is 24 divided by 2 uh, is 12 inch the circumference equal to 2 times pi times radius so that means 2 times 3.14 times 12 that gives you 75.6 sometimes they will ask you to um, do the problem in terms of pi if that is the case so that gives you um, 2 times 12 is 24 pi so it, it depends whatever answer they ask so you have to um, do accordingly right and the same way find the area area equal to pi times r square so that gives you 3.14 times um 12 square so it also you could write um 144 pi it depends um the the form of answer you get in the actual test you have to do um that way so now this is a uh, practice problem uh, pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get a radius 8 circumference 50.24 and area equal to 200.96 square inch so the next thing we'll learn how to find 
shaded area so you know the shaded area means that means you have to find the area of this um, rectangle and then find the area of the uh, circle and then you have to subtract it so you could look here the the width of this rectangle is same as the diameter of this um, diameter of this circle so this is actually 8 so using the formula so um, the radius equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4 so area of the shaded region will be area of the rectangle divide, uh, minus the area of the circle so that is length time width that means 12 times 8 and then find the area of this um, circle so pi times r square so 3.14 times um, 40 square so if you simplify that you get this answer so 40.76 e square is, is in the uh, the shaded region so this is the shaded region you have to find so now um, this is a uh, another um, practice problem so you could try by yourself you could see here this is the um, uh, the one quarter of a circle so if you do like that so what you have to do first you have to find the area of the uh, circle whose uh, radius is 5 and then once you find the area of the circle you have to divide it by 4 because this is one uh, section is that actually so you could hear 1 2 3 4 right and then you have to find the area of the um, rectangle and then you have to subtract it so then you could get this answer so then now we'll learn how to find a factorial so i think you learned that before the factorial 5 means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so you start with 1 until that number what you could do like 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 either way so factorial 7 equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 right so this is 5040 um, and this is 100 20. Now, uh, these two uh, practice problem you try by yourself and make sure that you get these two answers. Now, we'll learn how to find missing angle of a triangle. So, you could see here a triangle is um, 180 degrees. So, if this one is 36, this one is 87, what is that angle? So, what you have to do, you have to add these two and subtract from 100. 80 so um, the x is equal to 57 degree now we'll learn um, another um, the practice problem so pause the video and try by yourself in that case so this is there is no angle in here so that means this is a right angle which is 90 degrees so you try by yourself and make sure that you get 50 um, the last thing we'll learn how to find um, the Pythagorean theorem, right? Um, so this is a uh, right triangle. That means if it, if it is a right triangle and then if uh, three sides are A, B, and C, then you could write A square plus B square equal to C square. What does it actually mean? So that means, so you know that e square means all the sides are the same, right? So if you draw e square with every single side, okay? So what is the area of this? So area of a square, that means all the sides are the same. So that means this area equal to C square. This area equal to B square. And this area equal to A square. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, so um, this square plus these two square same as the square of that okay so the area of this square plus area of that square is the area of uh, c square of the um, equal okay so uh, let's practice um, uh, use this formula do a practice problem so you could understand better you could see that uh, this is a right triangle it has um, the sides are three and four you have to find the c so use the formula a square plus b square equal to c square so that gives you uh, 4 square plus um, 3 square is 16 plus 9 is 25 so the c is equal 5 so you could write um, you, you should know this thing is uh, the triangle different types are 3 4 5 triangle 6 8 10 triangle 12 5 13 triangle so if, if any one of those you know and you could easily find out so um let's do another 
um, the practice problem, pause the video and try by yourself. Make sure that you get this answer. So if you know this concept, most likely you know everything for your uh, officer candidate test, especially for the, um, the, the basic geometry section.